Welcome back to Cinemation. Today we recap Fido, a comedy drama horror movie from 2006. Beware of spoilers. In an alternate universe, a cloud of radiation coming from outer space has covered the Earth. Radiation caused the dead to be buried to reanimate and attack humanity and flesh-eating zombies. The Earth soon became flooded with these creatures that started killing everyone who crossed their path. The zombie war started when humans retaliated. Humans had a hard time winning the battle until their hero Dr. Reinhold Jiger established an organization called Z-O-M-C-O-N. Dr. Jiger discovered that when the zombie's brain was destroyed, the zombie would die, never to reanimate again. Based on this knowledge, the soldiers fighting the zombies aimed for their brains, and then the war was won. What had they been aiming at in the first place? Z-O-M-C-O-N established a security program to safeguard their town from zombie attacks. They built a perimeter fence that enclosed the town in order to prevent zombies to get inside. Even though the fence was there, radiation would cause people to become zombies in the event of their death. The radiation could put life at risk. Dr. Reinhold Jiger invented the collar for domestication, which is a wonderful invention. The collar could stop zombies' hunger for flesh and make them more docile. The red light color indicates that the zombies' desire for the flesh has been restricted. People were suggested to call Z-O-M-C-O-M -O -M or push the nearest button to ensure safety if the flash emanating from the collar is out. The people began using zombies as butlers or domestic servants in their homes. The ones who refused to live like zombies and had the money to pay for a funeral were buried deep inside the earth after having their heads separated from their bodies. It is also known as the reanimation free burial. In the town of Willard, pupils at school learn about Z-O-M-C-O-N and the history of zombies. In one such class, the security head at Z-O-M-C-O-N, Jonathan Bottoms, is in the class with the students. Cindy Bottom, Mr. Bottoms' daughter, is also a student. Mr. Bottoms boasts about him making the town's safety against zombies more secure, making students cheer. A little boy named Timmy Robinson isn't thrilled. He is asking Mr. Bottoms questions. Mr. Mr. Bottoms cannot speak, and the teacher soon ends the class. To be prepared for zombie attacks, Students learn to use a gun in Willard. Two of Timmy's buddies harass him and are detained. When he returns at home, Timmy is aware that the Barrows family has been moving into their area. Helen, Timmy's mother, will be welcoming him home. He also talks about his bullies. Later at night, Bill's father returns home from work, and he discovers Helen has cooked a multitude of dishes for him. It turns out that she had purchased a zombie to assist her with the chores of home. Bill is not thrilled about the new purchase because he's scared of zombies, but Helen insists that their new neighbors are six zombies and ought to have at least one. Bill manages the beast with the remote and is hurt during the process. The little Timmy feels sorry for the zombie and asks his father to put an end to. The next day, Timmy is waiting to see Bill to play catch with him, but Bill uses a reason and sets out to play golf with his friends. Tommy's parents are nonchalant regarding their obligation to their son. Tommy is often left unattended in his home. Helen wants Timmy to not go outside on his own because he doesn't want his neighbors to believe that he's isolated. Timmy visits the park to observe an undead creature trying to grab a kin from the ground. Someone is taking the kin from the bushes and causing trouble for the zombie. Timmy is convinced that his bullies are the ones who are responsible for the prank and is forced to go into the bush. Timmy's zombie rescue team arrives to rescue him from bullies that push him down. He defeats the bullies and saves Timmy. Then the two try to play catch, but Fido does not know how. Instead, Timmy and Fido play games of fetch. Fido treats Timmy like an animal friend. The ball is thrown towards Tommy's aggressive neighbor Mrs. Henderson as they play. When Fido goes to retrieve it and the woman comes after him repeatedly and strikes him, creating a dysfunctional collar. Fido transforms into a flesh-eating zombie and takes out Mrs. Henderson. At this point, Timmy is at the scene and is shocked to see him feeding on Mrs. Henderson. Fido is on his way to Timmy. Then, his collar begins working once more. Timmy brings him home, but they forget to take the ball with them. Fido and Timmy are now in Bill's garage, where Timmy takes care of his hair. Timmy notices a mark left by surgery on Fido's chest and concludes that he's had an attack of the heart. Helen is there to ask him about his family. Helen stops him from trying to inform Helen about Mrs. Henderson but he doesn't get a chance. Timmy informs Helen in the breakfast room that Fido had passed away from a heart attack the same as Bill's father. This is a source of concern for Bill. He had to kill his own father during the zombie war. Mr. Bottoms visits Timmy's house to chat and socialize about Mrs. Henderson's sudden disappearance. Police are currently searching for her. Timmy watches as they discuss. When the guests have left, he asks his parents about Mrs. Henderson. Helen says that if a zombie pet was to attack Mrs. Henderson, his masters will be taken into the danger zone just within the town. In the night, Mrs. Henderson turns into a zombie and walks around the town. She attacks a man, transforms him into a zombie too. Timmy is afraid of being thrown into the danger zone, and so he ventures out in search of Mrs. Henderson's corpse to conceal it. 
but he only discovers her decapitated arms. Suddenly, the Mrs. Henderson attacks Timmy, but he manages to hit her with a shovel. He repeatedly struck her with a shovel before he killed her. Then he dug her up in a public park. Timmy watches Fido struggling to breathe and makes loud noises outside. While the dog is tied to the tree, he decides to investigate Fido. He notices that the lights and color are off, meaning that it's not working. The sound wakes Timmy's neighbor, Theopolis. Theopolis offers to help Timmy with his zombie issues. The two take Fido to Mr. Theopolis, where he repairs his collar. They decide not to inform anyone about the incident, as an issue in the school must be reported to ZOMCON. Helen is fired up again the next day, and she dresses in a Bill suit in order to go to Bill's funeral. Helen has begun to enjoy Fido. Bill is obsessed with zombie funerals and attends every time he is able. Everyone attends the funeral, which is where the body and head of the dead are placed in two coffins. In the meantime, the zombie Mrs. Henderson had bitten attacks others in the park. The city is infested with zombies. Z-O-M-C-O-N employees fight them and try to manage the situation. The next day, Helen observes Timmy playing with Fido and is delighted to know that he has found a companion. She also brings juice to both of them. Bill complains, saying that zombies don't have to eat or drink, but Helen insists that he should. He agrees to go home and spend time with his family. However, she takes his car away with a best friend. He turns to view Timmy, Fido, and Helen playing together like a happy family while the three of them leave. Then, Timmy's bullies are taken away by Mr. Bottoms after accidentally shooting a ZOMCON worker's leg. Mr. Bottoms suspects that the children shot Mr. Mrs. Henderson, and killed her who in turn is creating more zombies. The kids accuse Timmy and Fido and claim that Fido was attacking them in the park. Then, we witness Fido and Timmy as they climb up a hill, while they talk about how they're always going to be close. Then, they're assaulted by bullies who attach them to a tree. Their plan is to destroy the collar and kill Fido so everyone would think they're the town's heroes. They break his collar, but they aren't brave enough to shoot him. But one of them gets shot instead. Fido gets himself free and chases the bully away into an unassuming cabin close by. He then hates him. He runs towards Timmy, but doesn't attack. Fido has more emotional attachment to Timmy than his desire for flesh. Fido seeks assistance when Timmy is unable to free himself, and he brings Helen back. A bully has transformed into zombies and is threatening to attack Timmy, but Fido and Helen arrive just in time to stop him. Helen burns the little cabin to get rid of the evidence. Later, the Robinsons are staying with Mr. Bottoms' house. Helen speaks with Bottoms' wife, Dee, about being pregnant. Mr. Bottoms has noticed Helen being nice to Fido and warns Bill about the situation. He suspects Fido is Mrs. Henderson's murderer. When they return home, Bill tries talking to Helen, but she dismisses him. The ZOMCON employees find Mrs. Henderson's body as well as the ball Timmy was left on the scene. ZOMCON personnel are able to track Fido down and detain him the next day. Timmy, saddened, pursues the vehicle Fido is hiding in, however, Mr. Bottoms stops him. After a few days, Mr. Bottoms' daughter Cindy informs Timmy that Fido is alive. She had seen Mr. Bottoms was speaking to someone on the phone about not waste good zombies. Fido is being made to be employed in the ZOMCON factory for free. They sought their neighbor Mr. Theopolis' help in getting into the factory and rescue Fido. Mr. Theopolis used to be a worker at Somcon, but was fired because he was in an affair with a zombie. Timmy and Timmy visit the ZOMCON headquarters where people are able to fix their zombies. Mr. Theopolis rips off his zombie's collar, creating havoc at the establishment. They now have to get Fido back to the factory on their opposite side. Helen and Bill discover about Timmy's plan and then head to ZOMCON headquarters. Timmy manages to get inside the factory while Mr. Theopolis fights the receptionist. However, Mr. Bottoms realizes that Timmy has managed to get into the camera surveillance. Mr. Bottoms locates Timmy and transports Timmy to the other side of the fence. Several wild zombies make their way towards the child as Timmy yells for help. Just then, Fido and Billy arrive and demand Mr. Bottoms to let Timmy in. Bill and Mr. Bottoms get into an intense fight, and Timmy manages to get inside the fence once more. He shoots a gun at Mr. Bottoms and asks for his father to be set free. However, Mr. Bottoms accidentally shoots Bill dead. Timmy then tears Fido's collar and attacks Mr. Bottoms. Fido finally kills Bottoms in order to save Timmy. Later, Helen organizes a funeral for Bill. Fido has been released from imprisonment and is now living with Helen Timmy and Helen's newborn child. Mr. Bottoms is turned into a zombie and is controlled by his daughter Cindy. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.